by the way, if you haven't noticed, this video is a lot longer than the last one. So here, the reason I mounted up is because this particular transformation, well, when you mount it takes away the transformation, however, you can use it once you've already mounted. But once you've dismounted, it will go away if you try and mount again. Anybody who's leveled through Northrend will probably recognize me as currently being an Iron Dwarf. Um, and so, you know, I have runes and arcs of electricity and stuff. I believe that this effect actually causes randomly very tiny bits of um, damage now and then, like, you know, electrical stuff. I'm not, I can't confirm that myself though. So, if you want to get this, you have to go on a certain quest um, in the Storm Peaks for Alliance. It is at Frosthold, and I think at Horde it's at some sort of crash site or something. I'll bet any Horde knows where that is. I don't know, I just saw on a site. Oh, my, I'm very laggy here. So, you have to go on a quest to get 10 relics of Old War. And then it costs another 10 relics of old war to buy the iron boot flask. And it's simply an item with an hour long cooldown that transforms you for 10 minutes or until you mount again. And so it can kind of be, and so it can be fun sometimes, like having a dungeon or something. It also makes you pretty tall, especially considering you're supposedly a dwarf. I mean, I'm tall as humans here. I wonder what that would be like with the bigger and oranger buff. Ooh, did I just get that? Or did I mount? I think I mounted. Okay. So yeah, mounting takes away the buff. Or trans- So, here I am. I'm looking for something called the Underbelly Elixir which has spawn locations just about everywhere around the underbelly, although there's only two or three at a time, really. So, you know, it's not like you'll be able to find 20 of them because they're all over the underbelly. They're in a sort of glowy green bottle on the ground, so if you see a glowy green bottle, it's probably worth checking out what it is. Because if you hover over it, you might see the little gear thing that means you can open it and take the elixir. So these only are found in the underbelly, and the effects of the elix underbelly elixir only work while you're in the city of Dalaran, so you can't like go to Ice Crown or somewhere and then use the elixir. Um, there's three different effects. One of them is to, when you drink it, it makes everybody in Dalaran, PCs or NPCs, appear to be human mages, with all wearing the same set of gear, and gives you a debuff that says something like, You'd heard this was the city of mages, but this is just ridiculous! You can also be turned into a Tuskar, which, you know, while lacking in various animations, <laughs> does give you a plus 50 bonus to your fishing skill, um, which can be handy if you're, say, fishing for magic eaters in the underbelly, or for the coins in the fountain, or something like that. Doesn't really have many other uses. You can't fish anywhere else because the elixir only works in Dalaran. The final effect is to turn you into a flying wasp. I believe, like, sometimes it increases your speed, and sometimes you keep the same speed, but you can fly. Um, so, the, uh, however, because of the no-flying zone above Dalaran, and the fact that you can't use the elixir anywhere except Dalaran, this basically makes it so you can only be a flying wasp in the underbelly. However, being a flying wasp can be fun if you, like, are dueling somebody, or say, I don't just want to fly around, or looking for elixirs. Not much besides that.
here is another character that you probably don't recognize, although in this case it actually is another character, not just a transformed one. Um, he's one of the many low-level characters I've made that just kind of have fallen down the wayside, and I kind of dusted him off purely for the purpose of showing off this ghost wolf form, and we'll probably never play him again as I intend to have Jurtix be my shaman. He just wasn't high le enough level for Ghost Wolf. So here I am testing out something known as Savory Devious, Savory Deviate Delight. Um, it's something you can eat that will transform you into either a ninja or pirate. And here I am testing out whether or not it gives you a slight swim speed swim speed bonus like the um, house and treat pirate thing does and after I tested it and t while timing it I found that it does not however it does transform you to a slightly different pirate and it can transform you into a ninja so if you happen to want to get some savory Devi deviate delight to be a pirate or ninja always human for some reason um, then you have to get some deviate fish either from the auction house or by fishing in the barrens and then you have to have some cooking skill and the deviate fish recipe which is really hard to get it either involves really good luck several hours of farming in the barrens or somebody having it on the auction house, I suppose. Although it's usually rather expensive. I think you can sell these for some money. On my server, they're, they might be like a gold per fish or something like that. Now for the transformations I missed in this video. So here's Noggin Fogger Elixir, which can either make you smaller, turn you into a skeleton, or give you a slow fall buff. I believe it comes from a goblin in Gadgets and... However, I wasn't able to get it because I'm currently unfriendly with Gadgetzan. Here is Orb of the Sindorai, Sindore, which drops from heroic bosses in Magister's Terrace and turns you into a Blood Elf, but unlike the Orb of Deception, you keep your gear, and it is always a Blood Elf. Here is Time Lost Figurine, which drops from Terok in Skeddies. It requires a bunch of farming. However, I may actually get this and show it to you at some point. And here is the Tuscar form of Underbelly Elixir. Um, that gives you a bonus to fishing. And then there's the Super Simeon Sphere, which can drop off of several mechanical bosses, but is far most the most likely to drop off of bosses in Ulduar. So that wraps it up for this blog of Warcraft video. Um, sorry that it's been a little long since my last one, and that this one was rather long. Um, they should be a little shorter and be have, you know, not take so long to come out in the future. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you watch my future videos. Thank you.